हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक ऑन हाना एंड वी आर कवरिंग द कोर कॉन्सेप्ट और फीचर्स ऑफ एस ए पी हाना एंड एज ए पार्ट ऑफ दैट इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी स्टार्टेड विद रो स्टोरेज एंड कॉलम स्टोरेज वी कवर्ड यस there are primarily two ways to store the table data or we can say organize the table data row storage and column storage sap hana supports both that's why it is called as hybrid database whereas traditional databases only only supports row storage and in the system where you have the option to choose the storage type go to technical settings of the table in the technical settings we have db specific properties there we have the option to choose the storage type means column store or row store after that we simply understood did we simply understand in full we go for that detailed understanding how the row storage is and how the column storage is now into this particular video we will go for the answer when to choose row storage and when to choose column storage and high probability in any interview if interviewer is asking the question on row storage and column storage this is the first question they will ask when you will go for row storage and when you will go for column storage now suppose these are the four columns of the table order customer currency and amount and these are the four rows in that table same example which i took as a part of this when we understood the concept of row storage and column storage now firstly this is row storage it means data of the table will be stored based upon row wise so this is first row data second row third row and fourth row so this is the data of the table and we are going for row storage now what will be the two scenarios what is the first scenario we are selecting star star means all column data we are going for select star where order is equal to 4 5 7 this is row storage suppose this is row storage we are going for selecting all column data where order is equal to 4 5 7 all column data now you can see the all data of 4 5 7 is together it is in it is in one row itself so it will always always give the good performance the all column data is together suppose if i will go for select star from a table where order is equal to 4 5 7 yes i will get all details very quickly because for this particular row each and everything is together yes so i will always always get a good result now we will go for another scenario suppose this is row storage this is row storage now we want to make some of this amount column we want to make some of the amount column it means we want to make some of 1300 750 115 and 30 just see data is row storage data is stored row wise so this is first row so if we will go to first row we will pick 1300 we'll go to second row we will pick 750 we'll go to third row we will pick 115 we will go to row 4 and we will pick 30 see we will not get the good performance as we need to go to individual rows yes we need to pick the values and then system will make the sum so we will not get the good performance if data is organized or stored based upon row wise yes if we are selecting if we are selecting the data of or any order suppose 4 5 6 4 5 7 4 5 8 4 5 any of the order we will get a good performance because whatever is the details of that order it's together everything 
Now, if we will go for sum of amount, we want to make sum of the amount column. So system will go to first row, second row, third row, fourth row. Just see if we have these many rows, system will go to each and every row, pick the amount and make the sum. We will not get the good performance. Yes, now we will go for vice versa. So in case of row storage, yes, if we are going for sum of this column, will not get the good performance. So this is good performance case. This is low performance case. And you can see it is in green color or it is in red color. Now we will take the vice versa scenario. We will go for next scenario. Now data is organized or data is stored based upon column storage. Now how it will be. Now we will go for both the scenarios. Now data is organized column wise. First column, this is the data. Second column, this is the data. Third column, this is the data. Fourth column, this is the data. Now we will go for first query. We are selecting star where order is equal to 457. Now see the details of 457 is not together. So how it will be? It will go to this column, pick 457. It will go to this column, pick SAP. It will go to this column, it will pick Euro. It will go to amount column, it will pick 750. So we will not get the good performance here. Yes, because data is stored column wise. When data is stored column wise and you are selecting star for a particular order, so we need to go to each and every column to pick the details of that particular order and we will not get the good performance. Now we will go for another scenario. Now in the same case, you are making sum of amount column. Now data is stored column wise. So what we will do, we'll simply go to this particular column and you can see each and everything is together. Yes. So it will always, always give the good performance. It will simply go to this column, make some, and we will get the result. So you can understand how row storage is and how column storage is. And based upon this only, you can predict very easily when you need to choose row storage and when you need to choose column storage and high probability this question will be asked by the interviewer. So our next is when to choose row storage and when to choose column storage. Whenever you want to access a complete row or record C, we want to access a complete row or record we should go for row storage because that data of that row is together. Yes, we will get very easily. Yes. So whenever you want to access a complete record or table, go for row storage. And yes, whenever you are not going for any aggregate functions or calculations, always, always choose. You can go for row storage. Suppose simple example. In case of row storage, if we go for aggregate function, suppose we took the example of sum. I took the example of sum. If we go for sum, it will not give the good performance because it needs to go to each and every row to calculate the sum. Yes, to go to make this aggregate operation. So whenever you are not going for any aggregate functions and calculations, go for row storage. Now, when to choose column storage, when the SQL statement has to perform aggregate functions and calculations, always, always choose your column storage because you all know whenever you are going for aggregate functions, you are performing on a particular column and the data of that column is together. So we will always, always get the good performance. And this is extremely, extremely important concept, widely, widely used concept. So if we will go for the summary of this particular video, again, important, extremely important concept. So in this video, we covered 
when to choose row storage and when to choose column storage. So we took the example. Suppose this is the table data and we choose, we have chosen row storage. Now we have the first scenario. We want to select all the details of a particular order. So we have written select star where order is equal to four, five, seven. Yes, we need to specify the name of the table. So we will always get the good performance if row storage is there. You can simply understand because the details of that particular order is together. We'll get the result very quickly because this is row storage. Data is organized row wise. Yes. On the other hand, if we will go for aggregate functions in row storage, we'll always, always get a very bad performance, low performance because aggregate function means we are performing on a particular column and data is stored row wise. So it will go to first row, pick 1300. It will go to second row, pick 750. It will go to third row, pick 115. It will go to fourth row, pick 30. So it will not give the good performance. Now we will go for next scenario. Next scenario we covered. Yes. Now same thing. Now we organized or stored column wise. So this is our first column data, second column data, third column data and fourth column data. Now here, if we will go for select star for a particular order, we will not get the good performance because we need to, because data is organized column wise. So it will go to first column, pick four, five, six. It will go to second column, put pick Chatico. It will go to third column, put Euro, pick Euro. It will go to fourth column, put pick, pick 1300. Suppose if we are going for four, five, six, so we will not get the good performance. That's why it is written low performance, red color. Now, if we will go for aggregate function, yes, data of that column is together. So we will get the very good performance. So in case of summary, so whenever we summarize, whenever you want to select, whenever you want to select a complete row or record, Go for row storage. No aggregate functions are there. Go for row storage. But whenever you think, yes, this table major purpose is you go to aggregate functions or calculation. Go for or always, always choose column storage. Now in the next video, we will understand what are the advantages and disadvantages of row storage and what are the advantages and disadvantages of column storage. So that's it in this video. Thank you.